Hi guys, my name is Kushbu and welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we will see the question count primes. Count the number of primes that are less than the non-negative number given to us which is n. In the example 1, we are given n as 10 and we can say that there are 4 prime numbers between number 1 to 10 which are 2, 3, 5 and 7. For example 2, we are given n equal to 0 and the answer would be 0 over here. Same for n equal to 1 wherein our answer would be 0 because in the number series when you start from 0 the first prime number would start from 2. So let's go and see how we can solve this problem. Suppose we are given n is 10. So we can see that 1 is a non prime, 2 is a prime number, 3 is also a prime number, 4 is a non prime number because 4 can be divisible by 2 and 1. 5 is a prime number, 6 can be divisible by 2, 3 and 1 and so it's a non-prime. 7 is a prime number, 8, 9 and 10 are non-primes. So we can say that within number 1 to 10 we have 4 prime numbers. In this video we will see one of the famous algorithms that is used to count the number of primes we have which is called sieve of Eratosthenes. Now let's see how this algorithm works. Suppose we have got the number as 30. Over here I have taken an array of 30. So this is going to be a one dimensional array but just because of lack of space I have divided into three rows. The first row over here is 1 to 10, 11 to 20 and then this is 21 to 30. Now what does this array represents? This would represent true for all the composite numbers and false for all the prime numbers. So initially I have marked everything as false stating that all the numbers are prime and now we'll start iterating. So as we know 1 is not a prime number it is a composite number so we'll mark true for the number 1 and we'll start with 2 because 2 is a prime number we'll be taking it as false and we'll mark all the numbers which are multiples of 2 as true. So that gives us all these numbers marked as true because these are the multiples of 2 and so these are also divisible by 2 other than being divisible by 1. So these would become our composite numbers. Now we'll move to 3. Now 3 is also a prime because it is still false and we do not have any number which could be multiplied with another number to give us 3. So that's why 3 is false right now and so now what we are going to do is we'll be marking all the multiples of 3 as composite. So let's see what are the multiples of 3. You get 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 and so on. So we'll be marking this as true. And now we move on to the other number which has the value as false. Since 4 is divisible by 2 and 1, we have true in 4. So we'll be moving on to 5 and we'll mark all its multiples as true. So this becomes true. And then we move on to the next number which is a prime number or which does not have a true value associated in the cell which comes out to be 7 and now we'll mark all its multiples as true. Now if you see that all of its multiples that were there are already marked true. So there was no change in the array for the prime number 7. Moving to the next number which is 11 that is also a prime number. We need to mark all its multiples as true and we can see that 22 was already true. Now we go to 13 and mark its multiple as true which would give us 26 which was already true again and this loop was having no effect on our array. Next we move on to 17. Now do we have the multiple of 17 in this particular range? No because 17 multiplied by 2 would give you 34 and that goes out of the range. So we need not worry about the numbers after this 17 and all the numbers that are still false are already a prime number. And so we can just iterate over all the numbers now and check whatever values are false are the prime number indexes. And so over here for this example we can find that there are 9 prime numbers. Now what are the derivations or what are the properties that we saw while iterating for this n equal to 30. Let's check. We saw that for every number that we were iterating for that is every prime number for which we were marking the composites the first 
composite that was found false and we had to turn it to true was the number i into i. So over here you can see for 2 the first number is 4. For 3 the first number that was marked false and we needed to mark it true was 9. For 5 the first number that we needed to mark was 25. And for 7, 11, 13 we did not have any numbers that we would have marked. So over here we can say that the first index that was needed to be changed to true would be starting from i into i. And the second thing that we are going to note over here is that the only change in the array happened till this 5 which is equivalent to root of n. And so we can say that the last digit for which the cell values could have changed in the array is square root of n because if you go after this 5 that is if you go for 7 the first value that could have changed would have been i into i that is 49 and 49 is falling out of the range for n equal to 30 and so there wouldn't be any value after this 5 that would affect the array that we are having. And so these are the two properties that we can take care of and remember while solving this particular question. So let's go ahead and code this particular approach out. That is, we will be taking the primes and marking all its composites as true and finally we will check for the array and whatever is false is the prime number. And so we can count the prime numbers that we are having. The first and the foremost thing that we can do is if n is less than equal to 2 we can just return 0 because in that case we are just checking for 0 and 1 that is less than n and we already know that 0 and 1 are not primes. For the rest we need to create a boolean array and this array would be of length n and now we will take a for loop and our for loop will start from i equal to 2 and would go up to square root of n. So let's take the limit till which we are going to go and that limit would be the root of n. And since this is a double we need to convert it into an integer and over here we will go only up to limit and we will do i plus plus. So that's our outer for loop wherein we are going to check whether the value that is there at that particular index is false or true. And if it is false, then and only then we are going to find the composites for that number. So we check whether the value is false. And if it is false, we are going to mark all the composites of that particular number to true. And the other thing that we saw is that the first index to be flipped to true is i into i. So, we will start from j equal to i into i, j is less than n and j plus equals to i because we need to mark the multiples as true. So, this would give us the next multiple in the next iteration. So, what we are going to do is composites of j is marked as true. So, this would give us the array of composites wherein true represent composite and false represents primes. So since we have the array filled we just need to iterate over that array and we can start from i equal to 2 because that is our first prime i less than n and i plus plus and if the value is false we can do a count plus plus and that count will represent my prime. So let's take count equal to 0 and finally just return the count and this will go till the square root rather than less than the square root. So that's one of the mistakes that we made let's correct that and run the code and it's giving a perfect result. Let's try it for a random bigger number and it's giving a perfect result. Let's submit this and it got submitted. 
the time complexity for this particular approach is root n for the outer loop multiplied by the time complexity for the inner for loop. Now the inner for loop has a time complexity of log of log of n. If you want to go and check it out, the link for the proof is given in the solution part over here and you can check out the proof how it is coming out to be that. The space complexity is O of n because we have used a boolean array of length n. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. So till then keep learning, keep coding.